Jai and Gats, I hope many of you have joined. So I'll be starting now. So I know you guys know me, but then I'll introduce myself. Uh, I am Cadet Warrant Officer Vishaswini, attended RDC camp last year, RDC 2023 in PM Strali. So this Republic Day camp, I hope I'm audible. Am I? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So in this Republic Day camp, there are many events. Uh, there are cultural drill. In drill, we have three events. Guard of Honor, Kartavya Path, and PM Rally. Guard of Honor is, uh, it is again divided. Uh, there is only one contingent of SWs and three contingents of uh, contingent of SDs, Army, Navy, Air Force. And uh, Guard of Honor uh, is uh, conducted whenever uh, a guest comes to Republic Day camp. So uh, there will be many guests coming to Republic Day camp. Uh, Chief of Air Staff, Army Staff, Navy Staff, CDS, uh, Defense CM, Rajnath Singh, uh, Defense Minister and Delhi CM, uh, CMs of various states. So like that, uh, so for them, we'll be uh, doing God, God of Honor. And then uh, you all might be knowing uh, Kartavya Path. Uh, every January 26, we'll be watching uh, the Republic Day drill that all the contingents do. Army, Navy, Air Force, and different regiments. In that, uh, it also includes NCC and NSS2. So that is Kartavya Path. And PM Stali is uh, specifically uh, towards our Prime Minister. Uh, Prime Minister will be guest on PM Stali. Uh, on that day, and we'll be uh, doing drill. We'll be doing dynamic and all the stuff, and that's it. The, this was all in drill. So, uh, how can we go to Republic Day camp? We can go in drill. We can uh, go in cultures. So there will be different uh, uh, cultural events too. There will be group dance, group song, uh, NIAP, and uh, maybe other things too. I was not. I am not much aware of cultures. And uh, come uh, and another event that you can go in is best cadet. So uh, this best cadet uh, in RDC uh, there would be all the seventeen directorates coming there. So uh, in army, navy, air force, uh, SD, SW in both the categories, SD, SW there would be selecting one best cadet all over India. That is called AIBC, All India Best Cadet, like that from directorate. You can go as best cadet. Uh, since that we belong to Air Wing, uh, you can go as Air Wing uh, best cadet SD or Air Wing uh, best cadet SW. For that, you need to be an all rounder. That means you need uh, in in best cadet, whatever uh, the judge is, uh, your firing, your written exam, your interview will be taken, um, and you have to uh, also participate in cultures and uh, drill to pakka here. So in firing also, there would be uh, in three uh, three positions. That is lying, kneeling, and standing. So you have to be an all-rounder to become a best cadet, as the name implies itself. So I got, uh, I hope all of you got overall uh, uh, overview of Republic Day camp. So for this 30 days, camp, we have to work for six months. This, the process would start uh, in the month of uh, September, maybe. So, so RDC selection process, this will be conducted in five levels, uh, inter-unit competition, inter-group competition, PRD 1, PRD 2, PRD 3, and launch. And then next, Republic Day camp. So in, uh, before inter-unit competition, before the selections, there would be selections in our unit. Uh, in the unit, they would uh, uh, select us on best cadet competitions and uh, drill cultures. So from our unit, there are only, like from uh, APNT directly, there are only four SWs vacancies for uh, Republic Day camp, four SW air wing vacancies. And there are 10 SD vacancies for uh, Air Wing Cadets. And Republic Day uh, 2023, uh, maybe this might uh, have changed in Republic uh, 
they came 2024 because uh, the karkavya part uh, is only for sws this time so maybe a vacancies increased for sws or maybe decreased for sds that's it so uh on the first uh, time during the selections uh, this was in the month of september when pi staff put a message uh, calling the cadets for uh, rdc selections uh, they initially conducted only the written exam so the written exam was pretty easy and uh, uh, i was one, am one among the toppers so i got uh, into uh, in the selections then thereafter they uh, also assisted us on our communication skills because we need to have our interview group discussion and uh, interview group discussion lecture uh, for to become a best cadet so for that i competed and then became the best cadet of our unit in inter unit competition that was the thing and we if for best cadets uh, there would be self command and drill so you have to command on your own and then you have to perform uh, so like that and co conducted our interview our commanding officer conducted the interview and uh, drill selections and overall thing and then in which uh, few i don't remember the count but then few cadets got selected and went to the actual idc so this was iuc pre iuc selections in our unit so all the four co colleges competed for it and then got selected for iuc then in idc intergroup competition there will be different groups uh, from apnt directed competing uh, competing and then there would be a championship group uh, in which they would be selecting more cadets and then there would be happening in priyadi 1 2 3 uh, like it will uh, it will be full of the directorate team and this happened in our aoc center uh, secunderabad and we stayed in bison training grounds so in priyadi 1 2 3 there were again filtrations they selected i guess around uh 10 to 12 cadets of airwing sws in which only four were four were uh in actual rdc i i meant 10 to 12 cadets sws excluding best cadets so i guess there would be 14 uh, sw on overall for, from priyadi 1 uh so again there would be filtrations based on our talent we would be going going then so in the process of iuc uh there was uh, another cadet from our college cadet warrant officer vaishnavi tadikonna ma'am uh, she is our senior she also came with came with us to iuc so i just found this uh, photo and i just kept it so ma vaishnavi ma'am and i were competing for bc and since that there was only one unit from one air wing unit from sikandabad group so only we both were competing for bc and one would go as the group bc best cadet of the group so like that and uh, uh, during inter unit competition uh, i already told you that there would be many events so we had uh, a, on the first or second day we had uh, written exam uh, soon after the written exam we had our uh, group discussion and uh, lecture on uh, like uh, on day 1 or day 2 we had uh, written exam on day 3 we had uh, inter sorry lecture and group discussion and there was all halla happening in group discussion and all lecture it was fine and uh, there comes the firing day so okay this was in the last day uh so uh the firing was only in lying position and uh, our, i didn't remember how i performed in firing uh and then and the drill selections happened so there were also cultural happening so uh in cultures also we performed well that was based uh, that was a ballet based on climate change so and then after we went there we got to know that uh, we should perform a proper cultural not a ballet kind of thing or proper uh, group song or group dance uh, where we could show our talent uh, ballet is not a 
thing like uh, in our ballet we couldn't show much talent of our dance or singing so uh, there they cancelled our cultural ka thing and then thereafter uh, this was on the last day of the camp and this was during the culturals on the last day we all were happy going home and not worrying about the results uh, after a week later or some uh we got the results uh, in which uh, i and vaishnavi ma'am got selected uh, from our college and uh, there were a few other cadets from our unit the list is long so i won't take the names and this was the first time uh, i fired uh, in lying position and this was the firing in iuc itself so this is how it looks i know it is very bad but then this was my first time firing so i am pretty much satisfied then so the main story starts here since we belong to air wing and then uh, they they say after iuc that we have to learn army drill and we were shocked uh, and the also the thing is uh, uh before going to igc uh and uh, see igc was in the month of november second week and uh this happened in october first week so there was pretty much of one month gap between iuc and igc so this one month was the time where we learned a lot like from army we have to learn all the army drill no air force drill is accepted except the air force peach hammer so it was very tough for uh, us the air wing and navy cadets and we have to somehow cope up with uh, them and they are just perfect in their drill and uh, we had to maintain a very very this thing with them so that we would uh, match with them so like that so uh, the bc was not decided yet uh, in the results of iuc so i was in bc and uh, in drill so before going uh, to igc uh, <coughs> there was a minor difference between my uh, results and vaishnavi ma'am's results and vaishnavi ma'am got selected as bc and i was kept in drill so uh, i was happy that the in bc since that like you have to manage everything it it becomes uh, so much stressful for you so i was happy that okay i came in drill anyway that's fine karke uh, and that is lieutenant colonel pravin babu sir standing on the right side and uh, he was so much uh, particular about our drill he always used to give us punishments and yes he motivates a lot he is the best he was the one uh, who did the uh, best cadet selections and yeah that's it so the this one month was uh, pretty hard for us this was a time where i learned how to throw a rifle and uh, catch it in a proper way and army drill so somehow i got i managed myself to reach up to their uh, army level ka drill so uh, in this i was placed in uh, kartavya pat and pm srali uh, i was in selected for uh, guard of honor uh, they said that there would be uh, there wouldn't be any sort of air wing navy army ka separate separate vacancies for guard of honor so i had to compete with all the army cadets and army cadets were uh, practice it very well that they did it so perfectly i couldn't match their level so i was out of guard of honor but then i gave my best for uh, kartavya pat and pm srali so was in both of them and in republic day camp uh, our our group uh, uh, did very well in all the competitions in culturals in drill in flag area in best cricket too so sikandarabad group uh, secured first position among all the groups in apnt directory yeah so uh, before this Uh, during this procedure uh, before i i uc procedure we had uh, competi- i said no i was in bc and also in drill uh, before going for igc 
so this was the firing in standing position uh, and uh, in standing position you have to catch that rifle and you know that weight puts a lot of this thing on us and pressure on us and we won't be able to concentrate so standing position and there are all much scattering in my paper so this was in standing position this was a kneeling position for this i got a lot of scoldings from rco because he said uh, my rifle was moving up and down a lot if i wouldn't move it up and down everybody see you couldn't see that uh, four bullets are in one line if i wouldn't move my rifle up and down then they would all be at a point and i would get a proper grouping so i got a very much scolding from rco like a lot and lying position so do not consider these white marks these white marks are uh, these uh, uh, sheets are like previous ones where we repair them and then we use them so see those holes only okay i hope i am clear so this was in lying position i did okay and not bad but then it happened uh yeah so every day evening we would get these photos in our group that uh, i already told you know left hand color pravin babu was very strict the pravin babu sir was very strict with us so he used to st uh, take out videos and he used to watch it uh, in the videos he would take the screenshots and would put it in the group this way see uh, in this cadet that cadet put his leg so far and he rounded up it, it and sent it in the group so he was so particular about our drill and uh, the judgment was pretty much tough so we were giving our best in the practices itself and uh, this was uh, in pm rally this is a pm rally contingent and so we all packed our bags the rifles were they were packing all the stuff for uh, culturals and drill culturals and uh, firing and we all came up last year and i mean our seniors uh, 2022 batch rd written raguram sir also came to send off us and we all packed our bags and we were ready to go chatur uh, repub idc chatur so in inter group competition this was soon after our kartavya pad drill so this was the sws contingent see there are only two navy sws and two uh, air wing sws and rest of all are army and everybody were really good with us and uh, that is uh, captain siddik sir so he was the one who to he didn't come uh, to train us during the pre idc selections but then came into the picture in repub uh, what is it inter group competition which happened in chittur so we went there and he suddenly comes in we just went uh, we put our luggage in and we came out he was like fallen we were shocked we didn't even uh you know uh, our, our rooms were didn't even allotted we just put luggage aside and we came and he was like fallen abhi drill karna hai tum log ko and we didn't know where did we even uh, pack our dms we uh, <laughs> like took out all our luggage and we got ready and tab se evening thak hum log ka drill hi chala and uh, next day morning 5 o'clock we had again fallen so since i did this was a competition every group uh, would uh, you know do, don't tell that they they would practice but they would secretly practice so sikandabad group ka to yahi tha to fir subah 5 baje uthte the hum log and we uh, you know there would be full of fog and then in that fog uh, tum log ko uh, sweat aa raha hai so how would you feel it is like i i can't explain the, that in words so that was in intergroup competition siddik sir was uh, so he taught us really well he taught us drill really well and uh, navy and uh, air force cadets were uh, really did hard work because of him and we 
were able to meet army cadets uh, uh, drill level so and uh, these were the cadets from our unit yes that's it uh this was soon after uh, this was on the last day result day they would announce no no this was uh, after pm rally so pm rally ka din tha uske uh, hone ke baad sab log hum log photos le lete yes and uh, on the last day our uh, uh, ddg air commodore p maheshwar sir uh, came and announced the results that Yes, Sikandarabad group secured the first position. Yeah, the, almost all the trophies were ours except one or two. Kartavya Patka. Uh, pura sara hami loka tha. So we were full happy and full josh dancing all the way. And yes, that was the thing. Uh, so uh, we was uh, we were so happy that you know uh, whenever there is cha championship group. more cadets would be selected from that group so we worked hard a lot for uh, championship uh, it was because of our sabeek sir saroj mala ma'am uh, lieutenant colonel pravin babu sir and pi staff who came to uh, uh, train us so this was all possible because of them and soon after our idc we came hyderabad uh, and uh, we had a tea party in vanti girls battalion so everybody went uh, so this was the time uh, in november ending so i was in 31 yeah yeah so three i was in 31 uh, third year first semester i had uh, my i didn't write mid to uh, because of igc so soon after coming i had uh, mid three exams and lab exams this was the day i had all uh, mid exam so i i didn't attend uh, tea party so i was writing them and soon after that after a week or so we got uh, the list of pre idc and in which we were very happy that we got selected me and vaishnavi ma'am got selected for prd1 also yes we of course did idc so every day in pre idc 1 2 3 uh, the same thing repeated i don't remember how many cadets got selected for sec uh, from sikandarabad group but there are uh, more number of cadets from sikandarabad group when compared to other groups yes that, that was because ours was championship group so on the first day we all went i hope it is visible huh so on the first day we all gathered uh, we met our old idc friends uh, it was it started on december 6 6th and it was the time of my semester exams so it was very tough time for me i had to manage both my academics and ncc and i really wanted to go idc so i don't know how i managed but then somehow i did it uh so uh, before december 6th my three or two of my semester exams were done and there were three uh who and i was not sure if i am going to write uh, those semester exams or not but then the staff were very supportive i went and asked permission for them with them uh and they gave me permission to write my semester exams so uh in in pre idc we used to have schedule like uh, in morning 8 Uh, we used to have fallen and around uh, two around one or two we would reach back uh, we would have fallen at 8 o'clock we would uh, get in canter we would go to aoc center there there used to be a big ground uh, we took uh, like video sun officially like on the first day we didn't know that we should uh, we should not take our phones so we took uh, a video of the ground on the first day itself and then thereafter we could not take phones uh, to aoc center so since that it is unofficial i am not going to show you all the thing so that was a big ground like uh, you can imagine it is four times or five times of our normal football ground that we have in our college 
so in that ground we used to run um, two rounds with rifle for warm up and then uche kadam tal and all that stuff so there was a drill instructor uh havaldar bridge mon sir who was uh, with us uh, from pri rdc 1 2 3 and till rdc so i uh, i told you know the staff are very supportive naib subedar uh, kalu singh sir and uh, bridge mon sir both were very supportive they encouraged me to uh, put my academics first and then uh, ncc so uh, every day they uh, they used to go there we used to come back at around at 2 o'clock we used to have lunch that used to be a break of 1 hour and in that 1 hour we used to just rush eat uh, lunch in 10 10 minutes and we used to go and sleep because it used to be so tiring that uh, full chakkar aa jata tha hum logo ko so fir we used to come sometimes we wouldn't even eat because we want sleep and you will get to know it when you do it that's it so we would go and sleep we would wake up in that sleepy phase itself we used to go again and then evening seven ho jata tha hum log ko return hote samay uh, seven ke baad uh, uh, fir se ye half an hour waisa kuch break hota tha then fir se roll, roll call ka fall in roll call fall in at 8 o'clock and tab hamara pura attendance lete the aur uh, kuch bhi ko, naya hoga kisi ka outpass hoga aur kisi ka कुछ भी नया होगा नेक्स्ट डे का स्केड्यूल पूरा बताते थे सो इट यूज बी डिफरेंट फॉर कल्चरल वाला डे एंड ड्रिल वालों का सो बिकॉज देर यू शुड बी समे देर वुड कम एंड टेक आर मेजरमेंट समे देर वुड बी सम आउट पास का थिंग सो रोल कॉल में ये सब कुछ होता था एंड पूरा लेक्चर ही होता था वी यूज टू स्टैंड फॉर देर फॉर लाइक टू आवर्स और सम एंड देन कम बैक eat and sleep that's it next day wake up and every day yahi routine tha hum log ka till launch so uh so i uh, told you know i had exams so in prdc 1 i had two exams and prdc 2 i had one exam there was no, no gap between prdc 1 2 3 because it uh, it was 6 to 15 prdc 1 tha december 6 to december 15 16 se prdc 2 start ho gaya and then सबसे लाइक एक दिन भी गैप नहीं रहता था लाइक लिटरली वन मंथ वी स्पेंट इन बाइसन ट्रेनिंग ग्राउंड सो इट वॉज ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस टेंट में रहना यस द वॉशरूम सर हॉरेबल टेंट में रहना वहाँ का खाना खाना यू फॉरगेट ऑल द हाइजीन थिंग यू जस्ट फोकस ऑन यर फुलफिलिंग योर स्टारेशन दैट्स इट सो uh yeah coming back to my exams uh so i used to take permission from there come write my exam uh because since that um, there used to be fall in at 2 uh, o'clock again we have to go back to aoc center so before 2 i have to reach btg and my exam timings were 9:45 to 12:45 and uh before 2 uh, no it was before 1 o'clock i guess Uh, 12, no it is 2 o'clock yes so 2 o'clock uh, hota tha so fir i used to write exams before the time itself i used to submit my uh, exam around 11:30 and church se jana hai uh, i used to book an auto go uh, wahan pe jaake fir se fall in hona hai church se harai fir lena hai jana hai so i already told you no ऐसा आई डेट फॉर थ्री डेज प्री आर डी सी टू वन में मेरे दो एग्जाम्स थे एंड प्री आर डी सी टू में एक एग्जाम था आई डेंट प्रिपेयर मच फॉर दैम आई यूज टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एग्जाम्स ओनली वाइल ट्रैवलिंग सो इन द ट्रैवलिंग इट सेल्फ आई यूज टू टेक आउट माई बुक्स एंड स्टडी एंड देन गो एंड राइट माई एग्जाम्स सो दैट्स हाउ आई वॉज एबल टू अटेम्प्ट ऑल माई सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स बिकॉज ऑफ देयर सपोर्ट एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू नो वी यूज टू डू uh in, in during the drill process we used to get one break that that is for 10 minutes and in that 10 minutes uh, they used to give us nimbu pani thoda ye kya bolte hain un logo sprouts ha sprouts dete the nimbu pani dete the uh, sometimes samosa kuch bhi ho so wo dete the uh we used to go have them 
एंड अगेन फॉल इन फिर से राउंड फिर से रनिंग फिर से टच एंड बैक ऊंचे कदम ताल देर इज दिस वन कल चिंदी मार्च जिसमें एक दो एक दो करके हम लोग करते हैं नॉट एक दो एक एक दो एक दो दैट वॉज मच मोर फन एंड इन दिस प्रोसेस इट सेल्फ आर डी सी से ज्यादा प्रिया डी वन टू थ्री में बहुत मजा आया हम लोग को आई एम बींग ट्रूथफुल काइंड ऑफ फ्रेंड्स यू मेड इन दिस प्रोसेस आर हैव एन फ्रेंड्स यू नो यू कैन फॉरगेट दम फॉर लाइफ टाइम देन वॉज द रिजल्ट डे इन प्रिया डी सी वन ऑन द फिफ्टींथ uh they announced like uh, we we used where are chess numbers uh so they would announce our chess numbers and we would like uh be fingers crossed and would wait for the thing and uh, priya di one got selected two got selected and in three we didn't much practice the drill uh we practiced drill for like uh, six days and then uh, ek ya do din we went for documentation uh to diacrete there they took our uh, photo wo kuch documentation kiya un logo ne and they sent us to get uh, police verification and all done for one day so we came out uh, we did our police verification and then went in uh, we didn't go to our home at all then directly on december 29th ya kuch tha hamara train tha uh, wahan jaane ka so our track uh, track suits were given kitting was given uh, on priya dc3 itself so my mom and da- dad came to send me off to railway station and also to btg last day was free and we were all happy uh, that we got the kitting of rdc you know we have this thing uh, towards the kitting right we anyway like anywhere that we see aibsc rdc we get goosebumps and uh, when you believe that you did uh, this you came this far and you did it it is like i can't express it so this was in railway station and we were all happy uh and the day comes in uh this was in delhi delhi can't so we went in after going uh, there uh, the train journey for uh, was for two days and then after going there it was so cold that i got fever and i was not well for the first five to six days i was not well at all uh, so it was so cold i used to wear all my everybody used to wear all thermals and all so Uh, this the photo on the left side that was taken around the time of 11:30 i guess 11:30 ho raha tha wahan pe and the fog was still on we were like ye kya hai ka ka aa gaye hum log mujhe to ghar jana on the first day we hated it so much that we really wanted go, to go back sahi mein and uh, then we started adopting there because of friends and all the support that we get from our friends we just adopt there so for the girls area there used to be a township kind of thing and uh, there used to be uh, security so whenever you should go out from the uh, girls area you have to take our gci or ano gci is girl cadet instructor muchavini uh, ma'am was with us and uh, ano harini ma'am was with us so both of them uh were with us for the whole rdc process in pre rdc also they were with, uh, with us so uh so whenever we had to go out like for roll calls for uh, for roll calls and for any other events for practice or anything we had to take them and go uh so even the canteen was out of uh, the girls area so we couldn't get much chance to go and eat out whatever we would eat we would eat from the uh you know whatever they give that's it so this was in uh, on the picture that is in the right side this was in karyappa parade ground during uh, pm sali practice so wa pe karyappa parade ground to bahut hi bada hai wa pe bhi hum log we used to run for uh, 
टू राउंड फिर से फुल फुल ड्रिल प्रैक्टिस होता था सो इन द इनिशियल फाइव टू टेन डेज वी डेंट हैड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ पी एम सैल वी आर ऑल सेट सो ऑन द फर्स्ट डे और सेकेंड डे देर वुड बी uh we would directly go and start flag area because that takes more time uh so we would directly go and start flag area on the second day there would be ah uh, no on the second or third day there would be selections for kartavya kartavya path so whoever got selected for kartavya path their uh, practice would start on the second or third of jan itself and they would go to karepa pari ground and practice uh and for the people of god of honor and kartavya but their selections would happen on second and third itself uh so the the selections would happen among the directorates all the directorates and it used to be sort of but yes um, that is okay and then uh, I, i was a part of pm sali so on the first 15 uh, 10 days 10 to 15 days uh, uh, pm sali walon ko kuch kaam nahi tha so we uh, what whatever uh, to be is done is whenever a guest comes there used to be guard of honor so guard of honor ke paas jo bhi cadets baithte the dekhte the audience mein we used to be among them or else wo uh, bolo guest jo aate hai pehle guard of honor hota tha un logo ka and then wo auditorium mein jaate hai unke liye culturals aur unka speech sab kuch hota tha so we used to be audience among uh, the Uh, in auditorium and then else we used to be in tea party so happy am sali walo ka pura set tha kyunki we used to watch all the things uh, like uh, sanic school walo ko jo bhi sound party hota tha i don't remember its name but uh, that used to we used to watch that uh, listening to that music is like heaven you would get goosebumps for sure then uh uh hum log uh, either i used to be in auditorium or in guard of honor or in uh, tea party so uh, the guest used to come to first guard of honor and then go to auditorium he would uh, give a speech uh, watch all the cultures and then go to tea party so most of us would go to tea party we would get a uh, box of uh, containing some snacks and a group photo and then after that we used to go in Uh, again there used to be some other other work that we could do uh, there used to be line area too so jo bhi bachcha ghar mein kaam nahi karta hai has to face a lot of things in rdc uh, rdc uh, wahan pe uh, line area ka kaam hota tha line area aisa hota tha ki your bed should be very properly clean and uh, each cadet uh there used to be bunker beds you know one one on the other like above and below so uske baju there used to be one uh what is it called well, i don't know what is it called uh one cupboard ka thing it is uh biwa uh, biwa bolte hai telugu mein so the that one whatever thing that you put in the first shelf that should be same in the other cadets uh, shelf also so line area used to be so much headache for us like everybody used to put the things some or the other way and at the end till the end that work used to be lag lagging itself and uh, other directorates used to paint something uh, the and uh, everything used to be happen so uh, this line area was a bit uh, headache for everybody and whatever luggage we bought that was kept in some store room which is like very much uh, away from our rooms so it used to be so tough uh, to go to that store room find our bag finding our bag is like uh, you can't find it like anything getting in bermuda triangle and never coming out it is like that so uh, वहां पे जाके वो सब कुछ निकालना पड़ता था वी यूज टू गेट आर यूनिफॉर्म कुछ भी वगैरह वगैरह होगा तो लाना पड़ता था या फिर करना पड़ता था फिर से वापस रखना पड़ता था एवरी डे यूज टू बी दिस सिचुएशन बिकॉज वी डोंट नो वेन वेन लाइन एरिया इंस्पेक्शन वुड हैपन एंड देर वर ऑल्सो स्लीपिंग बैग गिवन फॉर अस टू स्लीप 
सो ये स्लीपिंग बैग्स ना हम लोग क्या करते थे रोल करने रोल करने के लिए हम लोग को बहुत ज्यादा कुश्ती करना पड़ता था स्लीपिंग बैग के साथ सो वॉट वी यूज टू डू इज वी वुड फोल्ड इट एंड पुट इट इन अ ट्रंक देर वॉज अ ट्रंक इवेंट टू अस सो वी वुड पुट इट इन अ ट्रंक एंड देन लीव इट सो दैट लाइन एरिया में वो सब कुछ नहीं देखते थे सो दैट वॉज अट एडवांटेज फॉर अस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ट्रंक सो लाइन एरिया ये सब कुछ होने के बाद सो जो इन ए आई बी एस सी वी प्रिपेयर अ मॉडल स्टैटिक मॉडल रिमोट कंट्रोल मॉडल एंड आई डोंट रिमेम्बर द वन मोर थिंग रेडियो कंट्रोल एंड कंट्रोल लाइन सो ऑल द्री मॉडल्स दैट वी मेक इन बी एस सी दैट दे वुड ब्रिंग टू आर डी सी सो दिस वॉज इन द विजिट ऑफ रक्षा मंत्री वेर वी वुड ब्रीफ अबाउट आर मॉडल्स जो भी हम लोग बी एस सी में बनाए थे तो सडनली माई जी सी आई मैम कॉल्स मी कॉल मी एंड आस्क मी कि देर इज सम सर कॉलिंग दे वॉन्ट ओनली एयर कैडिट्स टू कम आई वेंट देर एंड ही वॉज लाइक देर आर मॉडल्स विच केम फ्रॉम ए पी एन टी डायरेक्टेड को चेक इट एंड ब्रीफ मी दो थिंग्स एंड देन आई वॉज शॉर्ट क्या आई डेंट इवन नो दैट ए पी एन टी डायरेक्टेड से ऐसा कुछ आया है आई वेंट इन आई सॉ ओके देर इज अ मॉडल ऑफ हॉक स्टैटिक मॉडल दैट दे मेड इन ए आई बी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो आई सॉ इट i took out the specifications of it and took it and went to uh, i prepared my briefing and all then uh, on 15th or something our uh, delhi darshan happened and 16th i have to go and brief to that sir so from 16th itself our pm sali practice started so i thought uh, like i have to uh, select between pm sali or my briefing so i informed my gci that uh, ma'am and i didn't even know that this briefing was uh, to be given to uh, our defense minister so i i don't know my decision was correct or wrong but then uh, i told ma'am ki ma'am mera pm sali practice chal raha hai ma'am could you please send any other cadet uh, sd or sw somebody karke then she was like okay fine and then she gave it to vaishnavi ma'am so my ma- vaishnavi ma'am was the one who briefed about hawk uh, in defense minister visit and he came in and we were in pm sali practice so that's how it happened uh on yes coming to the most interesting part that is delhi darshan in the delhi da- darshan we couldn't uh, do all the Del- delhi darshan i could say it was 10 to 15% because we went to jantar mantar we went to lotus temple and then india gate that's it we couldn't go to red fort uh, and taj mahal jo bhi near hai so we couldn't go there on uh, uh, december sorry january 15th we got ready we uh, we were dressed up in uh, our formals and start to delhi darshan so that was the one where you know phones were allowed to use we were allowed to use phones so we took all the pictures on that day and uh that we went to republic day camp yeah this was in uh, uh lotus temple and this was in our barracks itself and yeah this was with raksha mantri uh that was the day we directly came from pm sali practice and i just went and sat there so that was the thing and this was the group photo on the last day we took yeah so ha huh. so on delhi darshan mm, these all things happened uh we came in so every day our routine used to be like in the morning uh there used to be no such pt kind of thing that is rdc so we would go uh, get ready and pm sali uh, fall in would happen at 8 o'clock so uh whenever you should, uh, we would go we would go and fresh up Uh, around six to six uh, fifteen. Uh, since that there were seventeen direct grades plus signing school and all, so there was time all allotted for 
each directory and in that time uh, slot only we should go and eat so uh, in the morning uh, 6 uh, 15 to 6:45 was the time that was allotted for apnt directory and every you can't go it alone you should make everybody fall in the senior should make everybody fall in from apnt directory we would uh, get a card we got a card where all the dates were written and they would tick the uh, did if we had breakfast or not and uh, for the same as lunch and dinner so we would go have breakfast the food was amazing and <laughs> i don't think so i should uh, talk about food because uh, uh, yes that food was different but it was good it was uh, not north indian food so uh, we used to have on the first day we had uh, bread jam and poha i guess no poha ha poha so uh, the butter was not at all melting and uh, we i don't know how we ate that but uh, some of we ate it and uh, uh, we came so uh, in rdc they used to uh, check our food this thing also like a uh, food tracker they would they would uh, give breakfast lunch and dinner and beach beach mein we would get snacks so uh, breakfast ke baad uh, 10 ya 10 minute ka break hota hai uh, pm sali mein where they would get uh, directly to the karepa pari ground they would get refreshments uh, that used to be soup uh, momos uh, fried momos पेस्ट्रीज केक कुछ तो होता था टी तो होता था एंड अर्ली मॉर्निंग बिफोर ब्रेकफास्ट वी यूज टू गेट टी एंड रस्क सो इट वॉज आर डी सी वॉज लाइक फुल ऑफ फूड फुल ऑफ फुल टू फूड देन इन द इवनिंग ऑल्सो वी यूज टू गेट स्नैक्स आफ्टर आर लंच एंड इन द डिनर ऑल्सो देर यूज टू बी डिफरेंस ऑफ वेज एंड नॉन वेज जो भी वेज है वेज का मेस अलग होता था नॉन वेज का मेस भी अलग होता था एंड फॉर एवरी टाइम वेन एवर वी गो टू ईट वी शुड गो इन फॉर्मल्स इधर यू शुड गो इन फॉर एच डब्ल्यू यू शुड गो इन सारी और एल्स इन फॉर्मल शर्ट एंड पैंट फॉर एच डीज देर वॉज ओनली वन ऑप्शन दैट इज शर्ट एंड पैंट सो some days we uh, we would go in sari uh, with blazer and some days we would go in the in you know shirt and pant so that how it used to happen and uh, in rdc for an sw you can see that an sw can be so wild in drill ground area and at the same time so soothing uh, during <laughs> Yeah, having food whenever she comes in sari and this thing so even in roll call we should we, we used to go in uh, our formals itself and everybody used to while going to a uh, roll call everybody used to sing their war cry so we didn't had a war cry of apnt we were not aware of much aware of this and we sang badlu ram ka vadan ka ye ek song and then after that since that we belong to apnt we also sang about govinda hari govinda and all other stuff so this was all about all about rdc and this was all uh, a 121 contingent with one commanding officer two lady officers and three joint officers and you could see the three or four joint officers and uh, there were some administrating sirs who came with us so that's how it is and all the officials uh, there are all ca- camp command and camp adjutant and uh, our ddg were there we took a group photo and then we left so this was all about rdc and that's it so this is the journey from iuc igc and rdc so this was all the thing and so remember remember in the first slide i wrote cadet ushasvini 
Republic Day Camp 2023, Cadet Rishaswini. I purposefully wrote Cadet because I did Republic Day Camp with the rank of Cadet. It is very hard for Cadets to reach to sir, that, that level. Uh, because for whenever, uh, mainly in the drill, when they used to call out the cadets who were of shoulder ranks uh, for commanding. And I was a, just a cadet. I didn't know all this thing. So uh, it is pretty hard for a cadet to go. If you have talent, they would also give a promotion and then take you to RDC. So for every cadet, we used to get bunker beds, right? So in that bed, everybody would write their names. And I also wrote my name, uh, Cadet Ushaswini from Tutier. And this was on the last day of the camp. Yes, that's it. I hope everybody liked it. Okay, there are questions so you can ask. Cadets, do you have any questions? Okay. I wish you all the luck. Uh, yes. Uh, Ma'am, didn't you try for YEP? So uh, I tried co convincing my commanding officer that came to RDC. So there was a prepared list that was sent directly to DGNCC in Delhi and uh, in which my name was not there, but there were vacancies uh, where the cadets could participate. All the all few directors sent their names on the uh, RDC itself, but then I tried convincing our commanding officer, but he didn't convince and I couldn't go for YP selections in RDC. That's how I'm here. And uh, there were vacancies of YEP. See, there were, I don't know, people said, uh, Kedit said that uh, there were vacancies of uh, 16, I don't remember, I, I, I prefer not to reveal them then. There were only six cadets who participated. Uh, six, huh? No, no, no. There were uh, seven cadets who, who participated in YEP selections too. Like uh, BC selections and YEP selections would happen in the same time itself. Any other questions? Okay. I wish you all the luck. So two things that I would like to tell you is, I was in a pretty much doubt that if I would go to RDC or not, but then I just gave it a try. And somehow I gave my best with dedication and all. <laughs> I am not going to use those many big words for me, but yes, somehow I worked hard and I went. Uh, this is a lifetime experience. You get to see a different world that you won't get to see here in our college or anywhere else apart from RDC. So make sure you give a try uh, for the selections of RDC. Even if you fail, do not worry. Just accept it and just be happy that you came this far. And uh, I wish you all the best and all the luck to do RDC. And one thing that I would like to tell you is uh, I was so much concerned about my academics, uh, but then I thought ki chalega third year mein hi na, aane ke baad I would clear them. Karke. But uh, I didn't know uh, I I would get that opportunity of writing the exams uh, by taking out pass. So this my three one semester ka result came uh, in RDC itself. So I was very happy that my uh, subjects were all clear 
i didn't get even one backlog and i was able to do id to do idc so i was able to ha ha handle both of them and uh, with good amount of uh, cgpa and sgpa so uh, that's what i would like to convey ki you have when you join such uh, uh, org organizations ncc then uh, you have to manage everything on your own uh, be it your sport be it your academics be it ncc nss anything you have to manage everything and uh, do it with you know proper intentions and hard work you will surely get it that's it thank you all the best if you have